Welcome to yet another special edition of All Things Vuma. We start this week's episode by introducing a brand new segment where we will be focusing on dogs and the extraordinary place they have in our homes and our hearts. In our environmental segment, we have a look at our sharks of the beautiful coastline and the important role they are playing in our ecosystem. We end the show with talking to someone that understands the power of people connecting with each other on a conscious level and making it his sole mission in life to establish these truthful connections. My passion for Rolo. I am Cecilia and this is my beautiful black boy. I love him more than life itself. My daughter actually said to me yesterday, Mom, you made him this way. He is Velcro. He is my Velcro. Um, don't know whether it's reciprocated at all times because he's his daddy's boy. My name is Johan. This is Rolo. He's uh, definitely by my side. I can say almost every single second of the day unless he's with his mom cuddling and seeking nourishment and nurture. I'm more of a fun parent, I'd say. <laughs> Rolo, uh, what, what he means for me is, uh, he's definitely helped me cope with a lot of things, but I would also in some aspects regard him as a, a bit of a savior. Uh, I know in today's world, a lot of us suffer from anxiety. Well, I sure did, but it seems that uh, he actually co helped me cope with that. So, uh, yeah, it's my absolute best friend. I love him to death. To take time to appreciate nature, have fun, and just be calm about it. He taught me that love is not always reciprocated, um, but that doesn't make a difference to me. Um, unconditional love, I think. Hi, my name is Nico Boyens. I'm 24 years old and I'm the director of the Shark Research Unit. I'm also a marine biologist and exceptionally passionate about shark research and shark conservation in particular. On top of this, I'm also the spokesperson for Justice for Jaws, which is this amazing organization that we are trying to change the perspective of how people perceive and uh, approach sharks. And this is very, very relevant to shark conservation in particular, because how can we love this animal that a lot of people People say, you know, it's this vicious, m menacing, you know, just absolute killing machine. When in reality, we as humans are really that vicious, menacing, killing machine. If we look at the number of sharks that get killed every year and compare that to the number of attacks on humans by sharks, the numbers are totally disproportional and it just does not make sense to why we have evolved at, with this absolute, um, not just fear, but also in some cases this hatred towards sharks. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that if we lose our sharks, we lose our ocean. And and if you think that breathing oxygen is important, it's important to look after our sharks because they regulate our ocean systems. Without them, our ocean systems will collapse. And if that collapses, our oxygen system will also collapse. So we actually get the majority of our oxygen from the ocean. And a lot of people don't know that. The Shark Research Unit is definitely a youth oriented um, organization or company and we are definitely focused on providing a new access to youth in particular in South Africa. So what we've gone and done is besides just collecting data and doing research in and around South Africa um, that is marine related because yes the name is shark research unit however we are marine focused so any marine life we're open to and what we've done is we've made all of our data open source meaning that any South African student or any student that is associated with the South African unit now has access to that. So we're not going to keep the data and say it's our data. We'd rather share that and make a difference because we believe that by sharing data and sharing with other people, instead of holding or hoarding that data, we can actually bring change and bring that um, 
that change and show that collaboration is key because that is what's really important, especially in conservation. So what we do is we don't just work on sharks, we also work in some of our freshwater systems, rivers, we do some of those types of assessments, uh, we assist with local stranding networks, we volunteer exceptionally a lot of time with different um, seabird rehabilitation centres, really anywhere we can try and make a difference that's where we try and get in and that, that starts with the youth. So like I said, yes we're youth oriented and we do a lot of outreach works into our local rural community as well as with our local schools and we take those kids out and do beach assessments, beach cleanups, rocky shore assessments, sometimes we take them on the boats with us when we do some shark tagging so it really brings uh, you know a new aspect to, to what we do. Ooh, I think that's a bit biased, but definitely the great white shark. Um, it's just probably one of the most interesting sharks. Um, I've had the privilege of working with them for now over three years. Um, I've worked with a lot of other sharks, including tiger sharks, bull sharks, black tips, ragged tooth, you name it, I've probably seen it. Um, the difference is just when you first see your first great white shark, I think it's just the aura, that immense power with that amazing animal that comes with it. Immediately you're drawn towards it and it's a memory that you that you won't forget. In fact, actually the first ever great white shark I saw actually got tattooed on my arm. So yeah, it definitely has uh, made an impression and its mark on me. Yeah, so if you want to get in touch with the Shark Research Unit, please reach out via our website www.shark-research.com or just check us out on Instagram or Facebook at Shark Research Unit, LinkedIn as well. Um, and yeah, from there you can go forward. You can even reach me on my personal Instagram, Nick the Shark Scientist. Very, very simple. It's what I do and from there you can get in contact with us. Hi, my name is David May and uh, yeah, I love living in the garden route, been here for six years and uh, wouldn't want to live anywhere else in South Africa besides for George. There's so much nature, the ocean, the mountains, the forests, the opportunities to run. I think it's the best place for any family to be and uh, yeah, I just love nature but also I love people and want to see people being impacted and empowered to fulfill their dreams and their purposes in life. I think uh, in my own personal faith, um, it's started developing over there for a love for Jesus, but also just grew into a love for people. And something that's really challenged me and people always ask, like if you could do anything and money wasn't an objective, my clear and simple answer would be, I'd love to just meet with people in coffee shops and have coffee with them hour per hour and just chat to them about their dreams. What are your dreams? What are your visions? And how can I be there to maybe just be a sounding board, maybe to help a little bit or to connect you with someone that could maybe help facilitate, but how can we empower you to fulfill your dreams? And that's my greatest passion. That was the foundation because it's who I am as David. And um, so during lockdown, a lot of us were together in our homes and whatever, and my wife and I were just dreaming about what would we want to do with our lives. And uh, two things came up. One, we want to connect and empower people. And we would do that through entrepreneurship and uh, assisting entrepreneurs discover about their why behind their business, but also the practical side of running a business, but also champions. There's so many people in George, our community, that are doing incredible things and they fly under the radar and we wanted to discover them, call them champions and see how we can do a bit of a home makeover uh, for them and uplift them because if we are uplifting those champions, we can see them impacting others' lives. We call that the multiply effect. So for instance, a teacher, if we can help a teacher go further in their career, they're impacting 25, 30, 40 people on a daily basis and year on year. So we've got a website, uh, www.empowertp. So we actually registered as the people, so empowertp.org. Or we are on Instagram or Facebook as empowertp.org underscore. Um, we'd love to have you follow us, like us, share us, 
and ultimately just get involved with us. Come offer your time uh, to come and paint a place or your skills. Maybe you're a business person and you want to mentor other entrepreneurs and get them on their journey. Come along with that or financially. So whatever it is, your time, talent or treasure, you can get involved with us one way or another. Our personal life philosophy, love Jesus and love people. Thank you so much for watching this episode of All Things Vuma. If you want to, you can send us an email, info at vumatv.co.za. Please like and subscribe the channel and also visit our website, vumatv.co.za to learn more about our sponsors. Live simply, travel light and always see the wonder.